Hey everybody, so today's video is just going over how to use the, or how I'm using, Flexi with the GraphTech FC9000 barcodes. Um, so I'm just going to kind of walk through the basic process of how I'm doing it. Um, like maybe some of you, I tried it when I first got the machine, um, just in my free, my free time, and it didn't have the best results. Um, so I got some more free time and decided to try it again and went back to some kind of standard setups and it definitely works way better way more consistently so i'm just going to walk through my settings for how we're doing that and here you go All right, so here we are in Flexi. Um, I'm choosing the object that we're going to be printing and cutting. And then here you can see Production Manager. We're going to set the quantity, in this case, that I'm going to produce. Um, you can see I've already got registration marks turned on. Um, go to the Cutting Options. Again, you'll see that registration marks are already on. But in here you've got a further option, so click on that. and Take a note of all my settings here because these settings just make it work really well for me as far as the barcode's concerned. Here's the tab or here's the check mark for turning barcodes on. I do use it in roll mode and then you can see all the rest of the settings as well. Um, this field here just gives you a notes field um, or a job name field or whatever you want. It's printed next to the barcode. That's all it's good for. Say OK, and now you can get a, kind of get a little preview in the production manager. So I'll go ahead and send that job to print. So once you've sent your job, you can close this here. Now one thing you also need to do is in production manager, you need to make sure that you've got your data link server turned on. Now you only need to do this once or any time that you're going to use the barcode system. But you want to go into the production manager, choose your graph tech, go up to the, um, the setup and you want to start the data link server. And basically that has to be running for the data link process to work, for the, for the cutter to talk to the data link server. If you're not using the data link server, then you can just use the, bar, the graph tech as usual. Here you'll see that you've got the status and you can see that it's running. So here's uh, the sample print with one of the barcodes. And I've got it placed top and bottom, not that it really matters, it'll use the bottom one. And of course the registration marks. Alright, so we will load that sheet in the graph deck in the machine. And we'll line it up like we normally would. So now <clears throat> we'll go into barcode. I've got mine already set up. Whoops, let me exit that real quick. I've got mine already set up. You can go in and set your destination and you've got USB drive, server USB, server LAN. I run my graph tech over the network, so I have it set to server LAN. Now you exit the menu. Okay, so now once you're in this mode, you can just simply hit the barcode. Position the tool. So what we're going to do is we want to get it just below about a half an inch of the black bar that's to the side of the barcode. Hit enter. It'll do a scan. Find the bar. Uses that to get its alignment to read the barcode goes to the data link and it got the information for the cut so now it'll read the registration marks and start cutting
And basically what will happen is after it finishes this cut job, it'll automatically go up and try and read another barcode. So you can basically run back to back um, jobs on your roll and it'll just keep processing. So it's not like you have to go in and tell it, hey, go read another barcode. You only have to do that if you're changing out your roll. In this particular case, I've just got this short piece of material on there. So after it reads, uh, after when it goes to read this, the next barcode, it's obviously gonna hit uh, end of page or end of, end of roll and it's just gonna stop. All right, guys, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, that kind of walked through our process. One of the things I will say is that we've tried a couple different um, settings on creating the barcodes for the print production side in SAI or in Flexi uh, through the GraphTech settings and didn't have the best of luck. So these are the settings that work the best for us, um, and that's why I'm showing you those methods. Um, works great, it's been consistent, easier, so suggest that. Um, and keep in mind too, like I said, you know, if you're doing a lot of roll-to-roll -roll printing, back-to-back -back jobs, that thing will just keep reading the marks and keep doing the cutting. Um, it just so happens that we don't use it that way very often, but for the times we do, it's fantastic. Um, we switch out of material a lot. We do a lot of smaller runs, um, so we don't always use this feature. But when it's needed, it's fantastic. The automatic process is great. Um, so, anyhow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Have a good one.